on the ground. Welcome back everyone. This is Daniel and in this second part of the video I'm going to show you some of the places that I visited in my trip to Arequipa, Peru which I really enjoy it and I'm looking forward to going back to this city again in the near future because I still wasn't able to see a lot of, a lot of the things that this city can offer. We took a tour bus which lasted three hours. We visited some different places, very interesting. Like for example, this little museum where I was able to see some of the Incan relics, the handmade ceramics, the fabric, the textiles. I really enjoy it. I'm also going to be showing you a few more places where I went some uh, sites and cathedrals and the interesting part of this tour around this little museum is that next to the building there is uh, also a store where they can where they sell souvenirs local souvenirs and also craft beer which I found it very interesting and I had to try it it was pretty tasty And probably some of you may never heard of Arequipa, but let me let me tell you that this is one of the most beautiful series in Peru. Arequipa is the most second populated Peruvian city and it is located in the south of the country, in the middle of the Peruvian desert. I think that this city is a fabulous mix of old and new and has a beautiful history to learn and with so much to know and experience so for me it was um, amazing when i came here to visit the city and i don't regret it at all in fact i looking forward to visit the city again in the near future Uh, everyone who visits Arequipa, one must do a Colca Canyon tour. It is located about six hours by car from Arequipa City. The canyon is considered one of the deepest in the world, doubling the depth of the Grand Canyon in the United States. This amazing feature of Mother Nature was created by the Colca River over thousands of years. You will see the river below when you visit one of the most many lookouts at the top of the canyon. I didn't have the chance to visit it, but I will do it for sure in the future. Arequipa was the capital of Peru for almost 50 years. So for this reason, it will not be strange for you to find a majestic Plaza de Armas which means main square and a beautiful monastery and beautiful churches in which they seem that you are going to be transported to any city in probably Spain or southern Italy and among other places this caused to be declared the city as a world heritage site by UNESCO in 2000 in addition, it is embraced by the imposing misty volcano. The view of Arequipa from its viewpoints will leave you almost breathless. There are several places to see. This, the historic center is easily explored on foot and it is possible to visit them in the same day. Even so, if you like to take things easy, I recommend you visit the museums you can explore the local gastronomy which is excellent or go to the lesser known corners. My recommendation is that you dedicate at least three or four days to get to know to the city. On the other hand, if you do not plan to visit the Colca Canyon and another time of your tour of Peru, Arequipa 
in my opinion, is a great base to do this and other excursions. Uh, for me, it was so interesting to visit the cathedral, for example, the San Francisco Cathedral, which it was beautiful as you can see in the images. And also I visited two more churches, especially the main one that is located at the main square. And this part of the video, I am inside of this chapel called San Ignacio. This is also called the 16th Chapel of Arequipa. It is a beautiful example of Arequipa's decorative art, where the colors of its wall and dome stand out. It was a very, very pleasant visit for me. The San Ignacio Chapel of the Temple, also called the Society of Jesus in the city of Arequipa, is considered the most representative monument of the Arequipa School of the 17th century. In this temple, the process of Hispanic American transculturation is harmonically fused, highlighting in its interior the Chapel of San Ignacio. It is also said that it was the old sacristy of the church today known as the Chapel of San Ignacio. Many historians compare it with the interior chapels of the Santa Teresa Monastery. The color of its walls and dome stand out, which even over time are very well preserved. The decoration reproduces a tropical atmosphere with vines, flowers, exotic fruits, and leg legendary birds very well captured. One of the characteristics that stands out a lot is precisely the four evangelists in the four penditives and with their representative symbols. John with the eagle, Lucas with the bull, Marcos with the lion, and Matthew with the man, which incite to know and explore religion and uh, the, spir the spirituality that is reflected in these beautiful sets made more than 300 years ago.
admire one of the largest organs in South America. It's a Belgian construction, a huge lump of civilian origin. The neo-gothic pulpit of French origin and marble from Carrara, Italy. So be sure to visit the Cathedral Museum as well, where wonderful pieces of gold work are preserved, some of which are more than 400 years ago. I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, thumbs up, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.